we're going to talk about sales conversations. Something you either love or don't. And if you don't, please stay tuned. And if you do, I'm pretty sure you can also learn a little, little nugget from this video. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen to build a business and becoming a business owner. Now let's talk sales. Sales conversations, whether they're offline, whether they're on stage, whether they're online, whether they're automated because you have sales pages or funnels, they are the backbone of your business. And do you know why? Because they make you money. And money is the existence of your business. If you have no money, you cannot be in business. There's nothing you can do. You can help no one. You can serve no one. So sales is the ultimate backbone. Because it creates money. And money creates things you can do, creates possibilities. And the other thing about sales is that it helps you to create the impact that you love. You know, I know for a fact, women have huge missions. They love to make a big impact. Well, then you have to focus a lot on sales. Having sales conversations. And a sales conversation is just that. It is a conversation with a person with another person. And again, whether it's online, offline, it's ultimately a conversation. But because we add the word sales in front of the word conversation, a whole lot of stuff starts to happen in our head and in our mind and in our feelings. I can't sell. I don't want to sell. Nobody's waiting for my products. Oh, my pricing is too high. Oh, I don't know if they want my products. I don't know if this is you, but this is what I see for many women that I uh, help grow their business, scale and grow their business. You cannot grow and, uh, and scale a business if you don't increase your sales and marketing and team and other stuff. So when you have fun in this conversation, your potential client has fun. Because it's just a conversation that you're having. Isn't that interesting? So some things will help you. Be convinced about your price, your product or service, and about the way you deliver and the way you offer it. Be convinced that it's good and that it has the value that you give. Now there's all kinds of strategies, high pricing, low pricing. It, this is not about sales stra strategies. It is about the sales conversation. And, and yes, your target uh, client is also hugely important because you offer something to someone who's not looking for it. You can have a beautiful conversation. You can both have fun, but you're not selling something. And that, of course, is the ultimate goal of a, of a sales conversation. You want to sell and you have to sell because it's the backbone of your business. Remember, it makes things possible. Money. Now, if, if you're dreading sales conversations, shifting your mindset will help. See the conversation as you being the person that is going to help the other person making a decision. You are going to help them with your service, with your product, and they don't know yet why they need it or if they need it. And that's up to you not to convince to them, because that's pulling and pushing, but to explain to them. And what also helps as a mindset is that you look at the conversation is that you're there to serve. You're there to make sure there are no more questions, that there is no confusion and no doubt in their mind. And when this person needs to talk to some other people, um, you probably are not speaking to the right person. 
you always want to speak to the decision maker if possible but the decision maker does not always want to talk to you because they delegate so then it's important that the person you're talking to is convinced and that they have enough reasons and enough ammunition to sell it to their person who, get, who delegated the task to them, okay? Now sales is an interesting process um, and you can grow, you can grow a lot into it and as soon as you start to make it fun it will become more effortlessly for you. So that's what I want you to start focusing on. Make it fun. Look forward to having conversations with people. Look forward to serve and help people because that's what you're doing. Now, if you're looking to scale and grow your business, why don't you consider having a small call with me? It's just a 15 minute call. It's short. And those are also fun calls. And actually there are no sales calls. I don't want to sell anything to you in a quick 15 minute call. My intention is to get to know each other and to see if I can even help you at all. Um, and then we'll take it from there, but, but not in the 15 minutes. And I love having these conversations. I love talking to women uh, and see how, if there's any way I can help them. And be assured, I will always give you a few tips. So even if it's just 15 minutes and we will never ever talk again, I'm sure you've got something out of it. If not, okay, totally fine. You know, there's so many of my videos on, uh, on YouTube. Check out a Powerful Business Academy YouTube channel. And there's hundreds of videos. And I might see you next week in one of my other content and training videos, how you can scale and grow your business from self-employed to building a business and make a lot of impact. Bye-bye for now.